Welcome aboard everyone to the HMS Queen Elizabeth. Now before we start I have a very important announcement to make. And that announcement is that aircraft carriers will be coming to the public in update 39. We only know for sure that the Bogue is coming right now, so I'm gonna show that quickly on the screen right now, as you can see. This is the Bogue, and uh, this is an older type of aircraft carrier. But they also said that there is a possibility for the Prince of Wales, uh, if you want to see that video, I'll put that in the description. And the HMS Queen Elizabeth, as you can see right here, might also be going to the public. However, this video is not all about that, so I'm gonna keep that for the end of the video. So if you guys want to stay tuned and want to know everything of the things that are coming in update 39, I would suggest just watch the video and wait until the end. I will be explaining everything there, but for now, let's carry on to the HMS Queen Elizabeth. So, like with the Prince of Wales video, I'm gonna start off with the exterior. And as you can see, they look very similar. They both have the ramp at the front of the ship and they both have the two iconic towers. Now there is a function to having two towers and the first tower in the front, that's the tower that controls the ship and navigates the ship and the second one is to control the flight deck. There is also a second reason why you should have two towers and that is to eliminate crosswind for the airplanes to take off. Now as you can see right here, the screws on this one actually work unlike the Prince of Wales which is a very nice addition in my opinion. And the hull is also painted red with a white line and a black line going across it. I'll show you the bow in a bit, one second. Now if we're gonna move across to the bow, you can see that there is a very nice shape under the water. And the bow is also looking very nice. And there is also um, an anchor right there. As you can see, there is also a texture for uh, a bit of rust around it. Now the only tower you can go in is the front one, the bridge is also located there and you can enter it by going up the stairs on the side. And that takes us to the next part of the video, which is the interior. Now before we move on, this ship is owned by Jorbanga, this is the co-creator of the game. And you cannot get the ship, nor can you fly the planes on the deck. However, they can spawn in airplanes and those can take off from the deck. Now coming along to the bridge right here, as you come up the stairs right here, on the left you can see the plaque saying Queen Elizabeth. And right here you can see Jordan sitting in the pilot seat, but as well you can see a lot of chairs in the bridge. There's a lot of windows and it's basically the same as the Prince of Wales. Moving on to the left right here, there's another name plaque. You can go around and in front of the windows and look over at the flight deck, which looks very nice. You can sit in these chairs, so that's perfect for multiple people. Now I'm going to talk about the armament and what is actually loaded on the ship. And this is very similar to the Prince of Wales as well, but there is four Seawiz phalanx on each uh, corner of the aircraft carrier actually. And there's also the same 30mm Urlikons on the four corners on the aircraft carriers as well, just like the Prince of Wales. But the main difference is the airplanes on the deck. As you can see, there is way less helicopters and there is no more Chinooks, nor is there Apache helicopters, as you can see. There is mostly F-35s on this deck and I think it looks amazing. There's also a couple of uh, Merlins on the deck and their tails are folded and their rotor blades are also folded as you can see right here. Now time for a fun part, right here you can see an F-35 spawned in by a developer and he is going to launch it off of the HMS Queen Elizabeth right here. It's all the same, as something's never changed. And here you can see the F-35 flying through the sky very gracefully. And over here you can see the F-35 coming in for the landing. And over here I'll put it in uh, fast forward, but this airplane has VTOL mode, which means it can take off and land both vertically and horizontally. I'm gonna end it here though, uh, I shall now be talking about the announcement that I made in the beginning of the video, which is that this aircraft carrier might be coming to the public in update 39. So that seems very very nice, very cool, I hope I can once buy this ship, it should be a lot of money I think.
However, you will not be able to fly the planes on the deck, nor can you spawn them in or however. There might be something else how you can control the airplanes like uh, artificial intelligence, just like uh, send them to certain locations, that would be cool in my opinion. But they are looking at options to launch them from the deck or stuff like that, but you won't be able to fly them yourself. Now as you can see right here, I'm not in Dynamic Ship Simulator 3. This is a game I like to play, it's called La Boat. And I would just like to show you guys how they made their aircraft carriers and how they make the planes take off and fly and both land at the same time. You can individually control all aircraft and you can make them take off all at the same time. I really like how you can't really like fly in them, but I do like how you can see them going around and moving around and you can actually track them as well. You can also put your camera on one of the aircraft and you can scout around just like that. I'm really hoping that they could uh, implement the system just like this because this would be cool to see in Dynamic Ship Simulator 3. Now I'm gonna end the video here. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you did, feel free to subscribe if you want to see more of this, and I hope you all have a great day. I know I've been gone for a while, but that should change soon. I've had really a lot of trouble with school lately, and I had a lot of work, but now that's mostly finished, so I can be back and working on videos for you guys. I hope you enjoyed once again, and I'll talk to you all in the next one. Bye bye.